Devlin. Is it Master COVID? <laughs> I met me missus. The platform. A bit of a different take on tonight's semi final. What we thought we'd do is we thought we'd split up and lock in at the game. And me, I didn't draw the short straw, but I decided, hey, I need to go to a few fan pubs here in Paris, packed out with people watching the Rugby World Cup and actually catch some Atmos from the Kiwis and all the other all the other folks who might turn up to these games. So that's what you're going to hear tonight, pre-match, half-time and post-match. I can say honestly, we are just minutes away from kickoff and I'm pacing a little bit. I don't know why. I should be feeling a hell of a lot better. You can hear the music going in the background. The commentary is going to come on in just a couple of minutes. But I should be feeling... I suppose a lot more confident. Yeah, it started absolutely heaving down here in Paris about half an hour ago. So that means, you know, wet weather rugby. I guess we're used to it. And, and so are Argentina. It's not the banana skin that I, I, I all week thought, mm, because of Christchurch last year and so forth. But at the same time, I'm just weary. You know, after listening to Conrad Smith and Steve Hansen on the show the day before, the semi-final and both of them saying it's so hard to get up after a quarter-final and repeat that level of performance that doesn't mean that the All Blacks aren't going to play well but I just think you've got to respect this opponent I think we're going to win this game make no mistake about that I think we're two scores better than Argentina go on let's have it what do you know about the All Blacks? oh they're going to beat us They're, they're, they're one of the best teams if we were to win this by any slim of a chance, it would be beautiful, but we won't. You're not from New Zealand? No, I'm not. But you're wearing an all-black jersey? Yeah, I'm a fan. You're a fan? Yeah, where international fan. So. Where are you from? From France, Paris. New Zealand all the way. Massive favourites, beat Ireland. Good to go. Where are you from, sir? England. I'm a Kiwi. I'm an ex-Kiwi. I live yeah. in Australia now. Is yeah. that a Southland jersey? It's supposed to be a Reds jersey, but no, no. Queensland Reds. What's going to happen in the game tonight? Well, I think it's going to be tight, mate. You never know what the Argentina are going to pull out, eh? I hope the All Blacks win. They deserve to win. But uh, I don't know. You never know if Argentina, eh? You just never know. I, I, I'm nervous. Put it that way. I'm nervous for the All Blacks. <laughs> Every game's nervous. Of course the All Blacks are going to win. You're so confident. I'm very confident. Completely confident. Because they're basically one of the best teams in the world. Who are you supporting? Uh, no, All Black. Sure. Why sure. the All Blacks? Because I can't support England, I can't support South Africa now. So, come on, All Black. The, the rugby from New Zealand is the most beautiful after the, the rugby from France. <laughs> who do I want? Who have I got? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm in New Zealand, but English fan, I'd rather Argentina got there, but I don't think it's going to happen. Why are you so confident in the All Blacks? They got stronger and stronger as it's gone on. They uh, deserve, deservedly beat against... Uh, I can't remember any play now. Ireland, my friend. Ireland, sorry. Good to the bad one, but yeah, deservedly won the game against Ireland. You know, they got the Barrett Brothers. Too good. Too good. They'll go on to win it now. I'm from Palmerston North. Go on, son, eh? Yeah. Really? How yeah. long have you been over here? Uh, I've been living in Paris 10 years. So what's going to happen in this game? I think... I could go two ways, but I think uh, New Zealand by... 17, 16, 17, that's I think. That's confident, that's confident. Yeah. You're wearing an all-black jersey, which is yeah. a great sign. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm French, but I'm supporting New Zealand today. So it's half-time here at the pub, and uh, there's some weird French kind of disco playing, and everyone's in a great mood, because why the hell am I? Because we're in control of this all-blacks. That was a fantastic first half. Yeah, a little bit messy at times, and, you know, a few errors, and look... They'll take the learnings and all of that kind of stuff, but come on, we know we've got this. You can feel it. This All Black side is on the way to the final. I'll go early. I'll call it early. And, you know, I don't think that I'm any kind of soothsayer or rugby genius by saying so. The reality is that Argentina aren't really firing any shots at us. Uh, if, we, if we keep calm, we've got the ball. Yeah. We're doing this. We're on our way to the final, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know who we're going to be playing in that final. But compared to last week when we were playing Ireland and the stress and the tension of that particular game, man, we're pretty well relaxed here. This is over. And this is over with like 35 minutes to go. 
second half. We got this. I've never felt so relaxed during a semi final. After all the World Cup that I've watched, the semi finals that I've been to, that we've lost. I have never felt so, so, so relaxed during a semi final. It's almost like it's so bloody easy. Oh, this is so bloody easy. So bloody easy. This is so bloody easy. Let's call it now. 20 minutes to go. It's over, right? If, we, if we're playing uh, either England or South Africa, Richie Mawanga can't, can't be missing penalties and conversions like that. It doesn't matter tonight, but it's going to matter a hell of a lot next week. Assess your great performance. It's hard to assess a performance when it's basically been in a post-training run very similar to the Italian experience. Um, I'm not I'm not entirely convinced this is the ideal preparation for a brutal final against either, well, most likely South Africa, possibly England. And, yeah, a, win, a win's a win, but, you know, we're talking about the World Cup. This has all been a bit easy, isn't it? It's been too easy, man. Too easy for you guys at this stage of the game now, in all fairness. Hasn't been this easy for Ireland, but sure. What can you do, huh? It's the All Blacks. The reputation speaks for themselves, doesn't it? It's the All Blacks. They know what they need to do, and they get onto the pitch, and they just get it done. They've got 40 minutes to decide how to play, and then they have the other 40 minutes then to decide how to win. It's just that the Argentina is not at the right level, so it's just uh, you know at the beginning of the of, of the World Cup, there is no real fight, there is no real challenge. And uh, they, they, uh, the black will put uh, 50 points to the Argentina. Was this a bit easy? This was a bit easy. Mentally, we stepped up for Ireland. Mentally, we stepped down for Argentina. Having said that, the opponent just hasn't been strong. Doesn't matter. You've got to be ruthless. This has been a great performance from the All Blacks. Yes, I'm sorry to say that, but yes, it's okay. I'm not upset with you. I'm not upset with you. It's okay. You yeah. won. Okay. And I think that you're gonna win the World Rugby. You think we'll win the final? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Do you think the All Blacks will win the final? Uh, I don't think so. No? Nah, it would be a, a real stunning. But I think that the South Africa are real. Uh, you know, perverts. They, they, they don't have the same game. I have to say that it was a really good match, and then you're gonna win the the Ruby World Cup. And that's the reality of it. And that is the reality of it. You know, with 15 minutes, 20 minutes to go, game is over. It kind of feels a bit flat in here, to be perfectly honest, because in the end it was just an overwhelming All Black performance against an opponent that. Well, did they come to play? Were they not up to the same level? It feels like the All Blacks were, dare I say it, playing a super rugby opponent. I expected more from Argentina. I really did. But an All Blacks effort that, while not at the same level as Ireland last week, hey, how can we complain about this? We're in the World Cup final again. Again. And that's for the first time. And as a fan, when your team is winning this easy, hey, enjoy every second of it. Ali, hey, turn what? Got an Aussie here. You guys get home early. <laughs> we are, you're on, that's not fair. I'm wearing Waddle, man. I'm wearing Waddle. Yeah, we didn't play very well. Next year, next, next, next World Cup, four years time, winners. Okay, Eddie Jones, what do you think of him? I love him. I think he's great. I'm a Tasmanian. He's a Tasmanian all the way. You love Eddie Jones, mate. I love him. I love him. I really do. Devlin. Yeah, the next rule. The Platform.